Go. Hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Oh man, how can I do such a silly thing? <coughs> oh hey Andy, sorry, I was just in my own little world. Oh, no worries, I just figured you want to talk, you know, because you seemed a little stressed out when you were texting me earlier. Stress? <laughs> Are you kidding? I wasn't stressed. Your text says, hey Andy, this is Carl, can we meet up today and talk about what happened this week? I'm very stressed. Literally could not be more stressed. If stress was a city, I would be a mayor of that city. Stress, 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 stress. I'm so stressed. Um, yeah, uh, might have been a, a teensy, teensy, weensy uh, stress. Yes, I was stressed. Something terrible happened. All right, tell me about it. I'm your friend. Let's talk it out. Okay. Well, it all started when I was at school. All right, so I was at the school, right? It was a normal day, the music was playing, I just ate my favorite breakfast. Fried eggs with gator bites and nanner pudding. Everything was going great until it was lunchtime. So what happened at lunchtime, Carl? Ah, <sighs> well, there's this kid, Timmy. Everyone in school calls him Slippin' Timmy. Apparently he's notorious for slipping in the hallway and people make fun of him. Oh, that stinks. It really does. Anyways, so I got my lunch and I saw Slippin' Timmy all by himself. Then the weirdest thing happened. What? I got this feeling, this like really strong urge to go and sit with him. You know, talk with him, treat him nice, become a friend. Oh, that's great. I'm sure he loved that, didn't he? Carl, did you, did you not do it? Uh, I don't know. I got nervous and I'm sorry. I should have listened. And now I just feel bad about the whole thing. Ouch. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, and then that night I did my daily Bible reading. And guess what I found out? I learned about a guy named Jonah. Really? What's his story? Oh man, you better buckle up. So Jonah lived back in the Old Testament days, a long, long time ago. And one day Jonah got a message from God for him to go to the city of Nineveh. Now Jonah immediately doesn't like the idea, and he doesn't listen. Kind of like how you don't listen whenever your mamaw tells you to take out the trash? Exactly! So what does Jonah do? He hops on a boat that's going away from Nineveh. Then suddenly, a crazy storm starts happening. The wind's blowing, the water's moving, and everyone's losing it on board. They're running around, throwing stuff off the boat, doing anything just to help themselves. But guess what Jonah's doing? Helping them? Nope, he was sleeping. Probably because running from God is exhausting. But then the sailors came down and woke him up and Jonah admitted the whole chaos was because of him. What do you mean? Thing is, Jonah knew that this wasn't just some normal storm. No way, he knew the storm was a message. What was the message? Listen, God wanted Jonah to go tell the people of Nineveh that they needed to change their ways. But Jonah didn't want to do it and disobeyed God, right? So Jonah knew that somehow this storm was God trying to get Jonah's attention. So Jonah told the sailors to take him, throw him overboard, and the storm would stop. Did they listen? D did it stop? Yes and yes. But out of nowhere, God sent a big fish and it swallowed Jonah right up. Oh no! But just wait, the story ain't over yet. Jonah was in the belly of that giant fish for three days. Three days? That's right, but I don't know about you. Three days in the belly of a fish? Well, that would be pretty interesting. I'm not sure what I would do, but you know what Jonah did? Enjoyed his all-you-can-eat seafood buffet? No, he prayed. Can you believe that? I don't know about you, but I probably wouldn't think to pray if I was covering a bunch of fish slobber. But Jonah did, and in his prayer, he said this, In my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From deep in the realm of the dead, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. And that's why I don't get it. Jonah's a prophet who loves God, right? Yep. And God told Jonah to do something, and Jonah didn't do that thing. You got it. Then why is God still taking care of Jonah and giving him more and more chances? Is that why you're stressed out, Carl? I'm not stressed! What I meant to say is, what do you mean, Andy? I mean, do you feel like you didn't listen to God just like Jonah didn't listen to God? I mean, kind of. I got that like strange urge to go make friends with Timmy. Instead, I just ignored it, and now I'm kind of worried that I upset God. And now I'm gonna get swallowed by something big and gross! I mean, I can't even walk past birds outside without me thinking that they want me for breakfast. I get that. I don't know. I'm just scared, you know? A little ashamed. I totally understand that, Carl, but get this. 
God still loves you. You think so? I know so. God knows every mistake you've ever made or ever will make. And God will forgive us for each and every one of those mistakes. But it's important to remember we need to do our best to learn from our mistakes and do everything we can to follow God more and more each day. And God gives us second chances. So that means tomorrow I'll say hi to Timmy and we can try to be friends. How great is that? Well, hello there, everybody. Are you ready to hear our big idea? Perfect, so am I. Today's big idea is God loves me even when I feel ashamed. All right, let's say it out loud on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. God loves me even when I feel ashamed. Perfect. Great job, everyone. Now I'll see you on the next episode of Go TV. Same time, same place. Bye. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV.